Giga Chikadze, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, my friend. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to be in Southern California at uh, your training home, King's MMA. What does this place mean to you? Uh, it's kind of my living room, you know? <laughs> Where I spend most time, probably, since I moved here. A very special place, and I feel like a home in, in this place. You're now inside the top 10 of the featherweight division. 2021's been a big year for you. Yeah. What's it been like? It's definitely been like a dream come true. First, I fought first co-main event against legend Cap Swanson. Then again, I fought another legend, Edson Barbosa. Main event. Boom. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Yes. They just hammered wow. away. Wow. Got him to it. I finished both of them with striking, so now fans can see what I'm capable of and who I am in reality. Oh, there it is. That's the Giga Kick. Wow. Giga Chikadze by first round knockout. This prospect has officially arrived. You're obviously getting a lot more attention, but now I want to go back to find out how you got to this point. And it starts with, of course, your roots in Georgia. And being born there at such a tumultuous time, how do you describe to them what it was like? When I was born, the Georgia was inside Soviet Union. It was like 1988. The things I experienced and the kids experienced in Georgia, that was really dangerous back in the days. I mean, coming out from Soviet Union and having a war, that's probably the worst thing I've experienced. But the rest of it, no electricity, water, and stuff like that, it was really hard. How did it help mold you into who you have become? Definitely it helped, uh, helped me a lot to become the person who I am today because uh, I appreciate where I live now, how I live now, uh, and uh, what I'm experiencing at the moment. When did you kind of discover what the UFC was in mixed martial arts and have it pique your interest? So it's funny that I still remember the day me and my dad, we watched UFC in 1993. The first UFC edition when Royce Gracie won. Uh, at that time I was training already with the Karate Gi and Royce Gracie was coming with Kara, uh, with the Gi. I thought that was something that was close to me. Yeah, at the same time, he was a smaller guy compared to his opponent and he was choking them while he was on the ground, while everybody at the moment thought that he was losing the fights. Here's the tap, there's the tap. So he kind of was an underdog and that's exactly how I was feeling about myself. Everyone would think that, oh, Giga cannot do that. That's why I kind of loved that sport right away. And since then, I've been loving it, and I always had the dream to become a UFC champion. You came into the UFC, highly touted prospect, former world champion in kickboxing. But people don't necessarily remember your first fight in front of Dana White on the yeah. Contender Series. <laughs> that experience in MMA was one of the great things that happened to me, to evolve, to become a better fighter. I've been winning the fights all 15 minutes and the last second I got submitted by the guy who no one knows today. But I know very well, <laughs> so it stayed in my mind for a long time. And I remember after losing Contender Series uh, fight, same night, we are at the Palms playing the craps and Dana and me, we are on, we are on the same table and he said that Hey, don't worry, just get better in the wrestling on the ground and you'll be back. I kept these words and uh, that's exactly what I did. I put myself into Jiu-Jitsu. I competed many times in Jiu-Jitsu tournaments with Gi, without Gi. And I signed up with the classes of the high school wrestling uh, with the little 12 and 13 year old kids. You know, some of the families were when they were watching, who is this <laughs> weird guy who was <laughs> wrestling to our kids? You know, they would give a question to the coach. But I knew I had to do this, so I didn't, I didn't want to experience the same lose what I had in Contender Series. So you go forward, get another couple of wins, mm -hmm. and then you get the call to join the UFC. 
Yeah. What was that like? No one good fighter would fight me outside of UFC. So I just decided to message Sean by myself. If I get an answer in probably less than a minute, he's like, how fast can you make 145? Even I was like 40 pounds heavier <laughs> at the moment. I'm like, I'm on my way right now, let's do it. What do you think about the most on a day to day now that you've arrived at this, at this level where the fights are, there's so much on the line with each fight now? Yeah. What's the most important thing for you? At the moment, I only think about the belt. <laughs> That's just something that I promised to my country, to my people. I said uh, on TV that I was going to become a UFC champion. We're a very small country, we don't really have a lot of heroes these times and uh, that's what I want to be from Georgia.